This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, when I use a bend deformer on a cylinder, it flattens out. What is happening? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have an example cylinder file here loaded in. And the question is asking about using a bend deformer. And when you use the bend deformer on a cylinder object, like the one I have here, it flattens the model out instead of bending it. So as an example, I'm just going to take my cylinder here, and I first just want to apply that bend deformer to it. So I'm going to come to the top here and switch to Move, Scale, or Rotate, which is going to give me the Gizmo 3D. Once I have the Gizmo 3D on screen, I just need to navigate to the Customize option here and click this. And in here you can see we have the Bend Arc and Bend Curve deformers. So I'm going to select the Bend Arc deformer and just click that. And once this has been applied, you'll see these series of cones that are appearing on your mesh. And if you hover over these, you can see that they have different descriptions of what they're going to do. So I want to bend this cylinder here into a circle. So I'm going to come down here to the bottom, and I'm going to use this angle option right here. So to activate a cone, just come across it and click and drag, and this will now perform that deformation. Now you'll see, as I use the bend on the cylinder here, it is just applying this flattening effect. So it's not taking my mesh and bending it, but it's rather flattening it out like so. So why is this happening? So the reason this is happening is because the model does not have enough topology in the middle here to support the bend. So if I come over to the side and activate polyframes, you'll see this is the geometry that the mesh consists of. So I have these two cylindrical end caps, and then the geometry in the middle just consists of one single line. So I don't have any divisions going in this vertical direction. So when this bend tries to happen, there's nothing for it to bend with, so it just flattens out. Now if I undo the process here and get back to my cylinder, now I want to come through and I want to add some divisions to the model here. So add some topology to the middle of the cylinder. So to do this, I'm going to use the Z Modeler brush. So I'm going to hit B on my keyboard, and then I'm going to isolate by the letter Z, and then press M to select the Z Modeler brush. Now the Z Modeler brush is a context sensitive brush. So if you hover over an edge, a poly, or a point, you're going to be able to apply different actions to your model. So what I want to do is I want to hover over a edge in the middle here, and you'll see that by default, the action is set to insert edge loop. So I want to hold down the space bar, which is going to open up the Z Modeler edge action menu. In here, I want to make sure that my action is set to insert. And then down here, I want to change my target from single edge loop to multiple edge loops. And now with multiple edge loops selected, I'm going to come back to one of the edges in the middle, and I'm going to click and drag, and this is going to add topology to the mesh. So I want to add enough topology here to support that bend that I want to do. And also while I'm doing this, I want to make sure that I have a center line in the middle here. So now that I've added some topology to my cylinder, now let's go back into that bend deformer. So I'm just going to position my model back in this angle. I'm going to select move scale or rotate at the top to get the gizmo 3D. I'm going to click on the gear icon for the customize menu here. In here I'm going to select the bend arc deformer again. I'm going to locate that angle cone down at the bottom. I'm going to click and drag, and now you'll see that bend is going to be applied. So if you're trying to use the bend deformer inside a ZBrush and your model is just generating a flat effect, make sure you have enough topology on your mesh to support the bend. So as we saw with the cylinder here, if it has no topology through the middle section, when you go to perform that bend, there'll be nothing for the deformer to bend, and so it's just going to flatten the mesh out. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!